All right, guys, welcome back. Survival Living here, and good morning. Uh, I'm fixing to head to work here in just a few minutes. I want to get this video out to you guys. I saw this earlier this morning when I was checking my feed. Uh, there has been an attack in Belarus. Now, there's a lot of speculation going on, and we just kind of look at it as preppers. So, articles right here popped up for you, and it's linked in the description. Belarus anti-government activists have claimed responsibility for what they said was a drone attack on the Russian A-50 surveillance aircraft at an airfield near the Belarus capital of Minsk on Sunday. Those were drones, a participant of Operation R Belarusian. Now, what I'm seeing, I am glad that they are saying, you know, they're coming out and saying that they're responsible. But when I first saw this, it was... Ukraine was being blamed for using drones to attack this airbase, knocking out this aircraft. Of course, we all look at everything as preppers as far as a false flag event. We question everything as much as possible. And I was kind of concerned that Russia themselves had done it just to get Belarus involved, Ukraine rhetoric drum up some more. But to each their own on that, this is just the news and information for you. Um, my recommendation is to make sure you're still prepping every day you can, okay? This is just more and more stuff going on overseas with this war that's, that's happening. It is building up to a World War III event. It's going to happen. It's not if, it's when. So while we're still looking at the when, we have time to prepare. No. Okay, so I want to take the time to get your attention on this. I have not been able to confirm this on my end because I got this late yesterday afternoon. Tinder Air Force Base here in Panama City, Florida, uh, went into a live lockdown. Uh, they announced it over the base PA system saying take immediate cover, a live event. That's the email I got from one of our subscribers here. It's been, they've been uh, viewers here for a while and very good friends. They later emailed me back that it was a drill. Now, for a military base to be doing drills, that's normal. Of course it is. Um, but this was close at home anyway. So, guys, things are ramping up everywhere. Now, with a drill on military base, you can expect this, especially with the active bang-bang individuals doing stuff. I and mean, we've seen that at bases. Um, we've also seen in the news they're trying to change the sale age for firearms on base. I think they're trying to do it up to age 25 to help prevention against the self-inflicted acts. Yeah, certain words you can't say on this platform. Self-inflicted, we'll put it that way. Uh, again, just be prepared. Thankfully, this is just a drill that was going on. I haven't been able to confirm with Tyndall about the drill or anything else like that, but from the information I've got from other sources, it was just a drill that went down. Anyway, guys, I've got to get ready for work. I want to get this piece of information out there to you. The fact is, the war with Ukraine is continuing. All right, it's just ramping up more and more. We're seeing more and more countries, figureheads getting involved with a lot of stuff. It's going to happen. What you guys need to do is prepare your family. We cannot change anything going on over there. We can't. The stuff they're doing over there, that's what they're going to do. The blowback, fallback on our country, we just have to be ready for it. And that's what we try to teach here on this channel. Preparedness, self-reliance, being prepared for events. So when it comes to WW3 events, guys, it just goes right back into your normal prepping, stockpiling food, water filtration, water storage, medical, self-defense items. You got to have these things. All right, guys, take care. I'll catch y'all maybe this afternoon when I get back home from work. I work long hours and uh, speak to y'all later.